In this video, I'm going to be explaining the dynamic compilation of ASP.NET web application. Uh, by dynamic compilation, I mean it means ASP.NET is a dynamic language. Sorry, is a comp <laughs> is a compiled language and not an interpreted language. And uh, that being said it can also make your ASP.NET to be interpreted if you want so but it's, it's how we explain what it means dynamic compilation because because every ASP.NET page is a is a is a is a page class it's inherits from the page class and uh, I'll show you what I mean from the code page can you see that this is a page class and the default to page which is one of the pages is actually a partial class it's a partial it's called public partial class default to so it's is it's, it's a type of a page class so every time you create a page you're actually creating a new instance of the system dot web dot ui dot page class so the um, ASP page including all the codes and uh, HTML and everything will be compiled into a .NET class so um, what happened is when somebody requests an ASP.NET web page from a server it is compiled to a new class and store it as a compiled class and um, so your web page, all the source codes, all the HTMLs, everything, all the C sharp codes, they are all compiled and stored somewhere. They they, they compiled and they f is and they stored. I'll show you where it's stored on your computer. If you go to uh, my computer, or my computer will be the C drive. If I go to Windows, if, uh, let's show the content of this. Uh, go to Microsoft.net. Uh, go to the framework. I'm sure I have a lot of frameworks. I'm not even sure which frameworks I'm using. Uh, and I think I'm going to show you. Let me quickly check which framework I'm using. How do I see it? Let's say I want to add a new uh, web form. I might not be able to see it. All right, let's do this. Let me show you how you can easily see what framework that you're using if you go to the build tab uh, if you go to the web website tab then start option uh, start options and go to the build tab you can see the target framework to be .NET 3.5 so that's a .NET 3.5 framework that means it's the .NET 3.5 I'm actually using you can target other frameworks if you want 2, 3 and 3.5 so, uh, so if I go back to my computer area then um, because I'm using the 3.5 can just check on the 3.5 and inside there I should have what is called a temporary ASP.NET files do I have anything like that uh, well because maybe because I'm developing on my local machine I'm not using the IIS uh, MS build no it's not here temporary uh, it's okay I'm sure if you're using this on um, let me see Microsoft view that this that 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 ah it's okay you know they changes things around isn't it let's check version 2 maybe we'll see Microsoft uh, yeah you see temporary ASP.NET files this is what it's supposed to be but 3.5 is probably different now so I'm still talking can you see this is the one quick start and these are all our pages 
you know these are all the compiled versions of our pages that uh, Microsoft has compiled so you know they've mo they move things around Microsoft anyway so what happened is the next step think about a compiled page as um, a time saving because your all your C sharp codes everything is compiled into one file well many files but it's compiled and ready to be executed so anytime the next time somebody requests the same page in the future the page doesn't need to you know find where the um, method is where the script are everything is already in place so you just deliver the same page over and over again the only time the page needs to be recompiled again is when you modify your page when you modify your page then the uh, the uh, the dot not dot net framework that can actually detect that the page has been modified, so the page should be compiled again before it can be served. So that is why, if you s load your um, pages onto the web server and um, request the page for the first time, the execution will be slow because the page is trying to compile for the first time. So once your pages has been compiled for the first time then the subsequent request will be much faster because the compilation is very very I mean it has already been done so this is what it called the dynamic compilation because dynamic compilation will enable your ASP.NET application to support thousands of users simultaneously so if you have like 1000 people requesting your application your application will not need to be compiled to be compiled all the time it is requested because one page is, is only compiled once and the compiled page will be served to the people the only time that the compilation needs to be done again is when you have modified and your pages so because uh, the previous classic ASP uh, you know the ASP not the ASP.NET the classic ASP um, is an interpreted language mean, which means that there's no compilation every time somebody requests the page the page has to be processed again and again and again for each of the um, requests you can pre-compile your entire ASP.NET web application using an uh, a tool which is a command line tool it's called ASP.NET underscore compiler dot exe you can download that from the from Microsoft website and you can pre-compile it. The reason why you want to pre-compile it before is because if somebody comes to your website the first time, say for example you load a page or you know for the first time and somebody requests it, it's going to be very slow. So, but uh, what I usually do is when I put my page on the internet, I make sure that I go to that page myself so that the first compilation will be done so that some subsequent request from any of the visitor will be much faster. So um, you can view the compiled page if you want to. Um, if you want to, if you go to the uh, ASP.NET in, um, temporary folder that I just showed you, you can see how your um, pages are compiled. It is much faster on request, and there's a lot of uh, options for the page directive that you can enable, which is the compilation mode. If you set the compilation mode of the page directive to never you know the page directive that I show you earlier on here let me show you if you go to the source at the top if you say page compilation uh, hold on a sec sorry compilation mode com compilation mode right that's the compilation mode if you if you ch change that to never the page is never compiled and uh, an assembly will not be generated for the pages so that means your page will be an interpreted page so I don't think you want to do that the, um, there might be an advantage for you to do that and the advantage I can think of is if you have so many uh, pages like a thousand page or two thousand page you don't want them to be compiled because they're going to be taking too much memory of your server so maybe then but if you have a interpreted language I mean interpreted page so that means every time somebody make a request uh, the page will be interpreted and um, <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea it will not be as fast anyway it will not be as quick as a compiled page so I'm sure there's a lot of people who argue with this but that's from my own point of view thank you